Today we are going to be doing another one of the what if I put whatever players in free agency, put some kind of filter here. Okay, that's what we're doing. It seems like no matter what I do, basically Crosby and Ovechkin are just always getting put in free agency. So they're going to wind up somewhere else, I would imagine. That's usually how it goes. So anyways, I'm just going based off of Wikipedia here. Very reliable. So first up, we have Backstrom and Ovechkin both. Now Backstrom did it in the 09-10 season. He played 82 games and put up 101 points. And obviously Ovechkin has done it on a few occasions. Uh, four in fact, his most being 112 points with 65 goals in the 07-08 season. Pittsburgh will be losing their two best players here in Crosby and Malkin. I was about to say Ovechkin, but no, that's not... I saw like a jersey swap on Twitter. Mm -mm. So Crosby's most was 120 points in the 06-07 season, and then Malkin, I gotta go down and find him, put up a total of... Actually, he's done it three times as well, but his most is 113 in the 08-09 season. Edmonton will also be losing their two best players here in McDavid and Dreisaitl. So Dreisaitl just did it this most recent season when he won the Art Ross, but he also did it the year before with 105 points. And then Connor McDavid has also done it on several occasions here. Yeah, three to be exact. He had 116 in the 18-19 season. I actually had no idea that Marshawn ever put up 100 points, but uh, you learn something new every day. So yeah, he in the 18-19 season played 79 games, put up 100 right on the noggin. So Brad Marchand going to free agency. We also got Claude Giroux, who in the 17-18 season put up 102 points, I believe. Yeah, that's correct. So Claude Giroux is also going to be a free agent. Patrick Kane has done it twice, but in the 18-19 season, he put up 110. So there we go. And now we got to go get Nikita Kucherov, who also had his best in the 18-19, and he put up 128. I believe he won the Art Ross that year, didn't he? I mean, with 128 points, it's kind of hard to believe that he didn't, but... I don't know. I'm going to assume. I'm just going to say, yeah, I'm not even going to look it up. I believe there's going to be 12 or so players total. So we've also got Eric Stahl on the Hurricanes, who in 05, 06 put up 100. And he also was on the cover of NHL 08, but that would have been, I guess they got... Well, it would have came out in 07, so yeah, it would have been like a year or so later. Wow, I'm so lost. I went to Carolina, and I'm like, wait, no, he's not there. And then I went to Minnesota, I'm like, wait, no, he's not there either. He got traded over to the Buffalo Sabres. Wow. That was a journey. I literally went to one. As soon as I let go of Carolina, I'm like, wait, no, what am I doing? Because I was thinking of the cover. Then I went to Minnesota. And as soon as I let go again, I was like, wait, no, he's not here either. And the last one is Jumbo Joe, who also seems to find his way, I feel like, into free agency in these quite a bit. But anyway, he should be 82 overall Jumbo Joe. He did win the Art Ross the year that he got traded from Boston to San Jose. And I think he had, how many points was it? 125. Yeah, and he also did it for San Jose in 06 07 with 114. And he did it with the Bruins in 02 03 with a 101. So there you go, Jumbo. Wow, Peter Stasny, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, did it seven times with the Quebec Nordiques. What an animal. So as always, I'm going to pick the Seattle Kraken here. And yeah, I'm just going to do what we normally do start in the offseason with the expansion draft so that way it gives them more time to sign these players kind of thing and i'm going to do basically everything automatic so we'll just see what happens I, we did end up signing one last time so i can't say we'd never do it anymore the gm actually did sign nate mack last time which i was blown away by but nonetheless i will gladly accept that effort being put in by our gm morale meetings oh uh, no Get that out of my face. Should I leave injuries on or off for these? I think I normally turn it off, but on would be kind of... Ah, I'll leave it off. Screw it. Oh, wow. We actually ended up getting the first overall pick. You love to see it. That's the first time on NHL 21, at least. I believe we've gotten three the other two times. You know what? I'm going to draft my own team this time. The pawn got traded to the Ottawa Senators, was it? Okay, I didn't want to bore you guys too much with that, but I drafted my team here. I am thinking it's going to be all right. We might have a pretty solid squadron to put on that ice surface for our inaugural season. On top of that, we have the first overall pick. So I don't know. I, I didn't look at the scouting report at all or anything. I have no idea what to expect here, but I, I don't know if they'll make the lineup because of, well, it, this Brett Redenbach guy is supposed to go first. So yeah, there we go. Let's see. He is 82 overall right wing playmaker. Might make the lineup. Here are the follow-up picks if anyone is interested in seeing that. Because I know that these are basically just randomly generated at this point. As far as I know, anyway. So I believe I added a contract year to everyone. Which means I should not have to sign contracts here. Never mind. I take it back. Wow. And we have $3 million of cap space. 
Guess we're not getting Sorelli. He wants 4.2. Yeah, no. Don't have that, sir. What centers do we have on the team right now? So we've got... We should be fine without him, I suppose. One, two, three. Well, I guess, yeah, Donato would be... And we also got... Okay, yeah, Sorelli, I'm just gonna let you walk, bud. I'm sorry, I did really want... Oh, I'll qualify. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so here are them 100-point folks. We've got McDavid, Ovechkin, Crosby, Kucherov, Dreisaitl, Marchand, Malkin, Kane, Backstrom, Giroux... And we also got Stull in there. Jumbo Joe should be down here somewhere as well. Okay. Apparently our team's trying to pick up Kirill Kaprizov. And why is he... Is he... He's not supposed to be a center, is he? And why is he in free agency? I swear I put him on the wild. Something that kind of surprises me is I thought Nate McKinnon would have a 100-point season. But, oh my. He put up 99 in the 18-19 season. Are you kidding? Come on, Nate. Couldn't have got one more point? Well, let's sim to next season. And... Oh... Uh... I'm not, I'm not playing your little games. No, screw these computers. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not letting you blow up my team. I mean, if you want Dalia, sure. I'm not going to use them anyway, so. Okay, this makes me want to turn trade offer notifications off. It is just spam in this damn game. Oh, my. No, leave me alone. Oh, we did end up getting Kaprizov. Look at that. And we got Sre Okay. All right. Interesting. I don't know how that works, but I'll take it. Here's our team, guys. Not bad. We got that plus three on line two. I want to see if I can try to get a plus on that third line, but... Oh, well, yeah, there we go. Screw it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave the plus one on the fourth line because I I've always have our fourth line do absolutely horrible. On oh, he's a sniper. His defense category is probably trash too, isn't it? Three stars. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Oh, if I put Scott Lutton in, it's still a plus one. So there we go. But Kirill Kaprizov is also a damn sniper, man. And so is Giryanov. Apparently, I just took a whole damn team of snipers. Okay, well, there we go. Our third line is going to be Sorelli with Giryanov and Kaprizov. I think he's a sniper, right? Yeah. And Giryanov, just to double check. Yep. All right. I tried messing around with the defenseman. I just can't be asked anymore. So Ekholm Hamilton will just be zero. And then Barry and Giordano. Actually, you know what? That's still a plus three as well. So screw it. I'll do it that way. Whatever. It is what it is. And then our goaltending, we have Darcy Kemper and Cam Talbot. Team's not going to be too bad. Well, it looks like everybody was signed except for Jumbo Joe. And we do have the cap space. I am gonna try to pick him up and put him in our lineup <laughs> because I don't want any of them to be free agents. In the meantime and in between time, let's try to discover where everyone went. I guess we only have to look at forwards because I don't think there was any defensemen on that list, but yeah. Okay, let's, let's just go through this one by one. Jordan Eberle. How'd that one happen? Claude Giroux is the second line center for the Buffalo Sabres. There you go. 88 overall. Eric Stull will be the second line center for the Calgary Flames, playing with Sean Monaghan and Michael Backlund. Malkin is going to be replacing McDavid. He's going to be playing with Nuge and Yamamoto here on the Edmonton Oilers. The New Jersey Devils have signed Dreisaitl and Ovechkin, and they're going to be playing with Paul Miri. That is going to be a disgusting first line. Yeah, they're going to put up numbers this year. Marchand and McDavid went to the Islanders. So they are going to be playing with Josh Bailey on the first line. I, that would be sick if they put Barzal up here. Holy, imagine that line. Sidney the Kidney is in Ottawa. He'll be playing with Kucherov and Dadanov. So a lot of these guys, or yeah, they got paired with another of the 100-point players, it seems like. Well, at least a few of them. Patrick Kane signed with the Philadelphia Flyers here. Going to be playing with Kevin Hayes and JVR. Nicholas Backstrom was the pickup to replace Crosby and Malkin, I suppose. He's going to be playing with Gensel and Jason Zucker here. Did I ever put Stamkos on free agency? Like, I swear, didn't he have, like, 60 goals one year? Let's see here. He had 97 points and 60 goals. And then he had 98 points in the 18-19 season. Holy. Okay, I guess we've seen everyone then. We know where everybody ended up. And let's go ahead. And yeah, let's get into the simulation. See how teams do. I think the Devils are going to be a good team. And Ottawa, they did. Yeah, they've got Crosby and Kucherov with Dadanov. So that's going to be unbelievable. I'm just going to advance a couple days here. And I don't know if I'm going to get... A notification that Jumbo Joe has or has not signed because apparently I just don't get those anymore, but hopefully I do. Otherwise, I'm just going to go look myself. In the system, we did get Jumbo, so you're coming up, my friend. Yes, sir. I apologize in advance, Scott Lawton, but we've got to put our boy Jumbotron in there, which makes it a plus three. 
Great signing. Okay, now that everyone's on a team, yeah, we're gonna just go full tilt simulation here. I feel like this blockbuster trade thing is just totally busted. There's no way this has been the only trade. But anyway, a first Holmstrom and Wild for Shattenkirk and Christian Juice. Oh wow, we actually got two this time. Keith Yandel and a seventh to Philadelphia in exchange for a first and K Schwartz, not Jaden. Also, it's looking like we're probably going to be a playoff team. So I'm quite satisfied with my drafting abilities. Also, I haven't got a single notification for a fired coach. So I, I guess everyone's just happy with how their coaches are performing this time around. Well, I mean, the Kraken finished with 45 wins this season. Not that that's relevant or important to the purpose of this video but uh just throwing that out there i will show the entire league standings here so i'm trying to remember if any of these teams picked someone up philadelphia definitely did i think they got was it crosby i think calgary grabbed someone as well because i remember saying that they're going to be playing with monaghan but i believe it was only a second line so it might have been eric stull i think buffalo also picked up a second liner if i'm not mistaken so that is a thing could be wrong though anyway new jersey devils there you go they finished 10th they picked up two players same with ottawa they finished in 12th i'll just scroll through the standings here for anyone who wants to see the teams here the 20th place team makes it into the playoffs i love that adam henrique had the most points on our team with 71 in 82 games how do our goalies do actually we got kemper 34 16 and 8 four shutouts a 9 15 and a 255 we won't talk about Cam Talbot, but Darcy Kemper, what a beast. So Malkin on the Oilers put up 113 and wins himself an Art Ross. There you have it. I'm trying to remember any of the other players here that got moved. Crosby, 99 for the Senators. So the only player that, you know, was put to free agency for having 100 plus points that also ended up getting 100 plus points is Malkin. But, uh... Yeah, Ovi with New Jersey put up 90 with 39 goals, and I don't know if anyone else is... Oh, McDavid with the Islanders put up 88. Kucherov with the Sens put up 87. Marchand put up 85 on the Islanders. Okay, so yeah, let's just... Uh, oh, okay, Patrick Kane with the... I thought maybe not. I... I... No, I think I was thinking of a definite. I'm just so lost. I'm trying to remember the two teams now that I was just talking about that I think picked up a second liner. I'm almost positive Buffalo was one of them. Can't remember who the other team was. Regardless, let's go ahead and get Denihilated in the first round here as per usual. And yeah, we'll go check out the awards, which obviously we know Malkin won the Art Ross, but we can check the other stuff as well. And the playoff tree, maybe one of these teams is going to win the cup. Wait, did Buffalo even pick someone up? I'm so lost. I don't know, man. I, I don't remember at all. Either way, doesn't matter because the St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup. So let's go look at the awards and the playoff tree and stuff like that. Geo, what a beast. So here are the team awards. There you have it. And the individual trophies. We got Malkin on the Oilers. I'm just going to try to find... Oh, yeah, the Calder goes to our boy. You love to see that. Tarasenko with the Conn Smythe. Okay. Anybody else that's... Ooh, we also got the Jack Adams. Interesting. But yeah, no, Malkin's the only one. Just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to go check out Buffalo just to see if they did pick up a second liner like I'm thinking they did or if I'm just insane. Both are equally feasible, but let's find out. We got... Oh, they picked up Giroux. Yeah, they had him on the second line, so he's not really a second liner. But they played him on the second line. Well, here is the playoff tree. If you guys have any ideas for, you know, plopping other players in free agency, go ahead and let me know. I just realized I did not create a new roster, so I'm going to have to go move these players back manually. Thankfully, there's only like 12 of them this time around. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. And yeah, I guess this... Uh, right now, I'm recording this on new year's eve so the 31st but uh, i guess whenever this comes out it will be the new year and yeah hopefully everything went well for you guys and i guess we'll keep on chugging along here in 2021